Oh, whack him. Good. Yeah. Okay. Don't fight him. Don't fight him. Oh, dude. Don't fight him. Whatever you do, don't fight him. Oh, dude. Fish no off. Dude, they're strong, man. They're very strong. What a pretty fish. What a gorgeous fish. Oops. Not long ago, I decided to ditch the corporate grind to pursue my passions for traveling and the great outdoors. So I sold everything, moved into a trailer full time, and now I'm fishing my way across the entire country. There you go. Fish out. Look at that. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. That was insane. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Field Trips. So I left Delaware yesterday Took the ferry from Lewis over to Cape May, New Jersey, and now I'm staying here at Indian Rock RV Park right here in the middle of New Jersey. This is going to be my home base for the next week while I'm here fishing, but this place is absolutely gorgeous. It is nice and quiet and peaceful. I've been leaving my stuff out, haven't felt even an inkling of worry that someone might mess with my stuff. The staff here has been just incredibly nice. Anita and the other people that work here have just been amazing to me. Everyone that I've run into that stayed here is friendly. I tend to attract some attention. I don't know why. <laughs> really just a cool place. You know, I was thinking of New Jersey, I think of like big city. That's what I think of, you know, the strong accent, big city. What I've come to realize is that central New Jersey is nothing like that. It is all woodlands and beautiful and really kind of like wild in a sense. So really not what I expected. It's gonna be cool going through the Northeast. I've never been to any of these states. This is my first time even like driving through New Jersey. So uh, I really have no preconceived notions of what to expect in these states. So it's gonna be cool kind of checking them out and probably confirming zero of my preconceived notions. I'm sure all these states are much different than I think they are based on TV and movies. But anyways, down to business. I am heading down close to Cape May to Stone Harbor, New Jersey, meeting up with a guy, Dan Schaefer. They call him Insomniac, or he calls himself Insomniac. I'm really not sure, really not clear, but what I do know is this guy gets on the fish. Everyone I've talked to is like, Insomniac, you gotta go fishing with Insomniac. It probably won't take you, but you gotta hit up Insomniac, try to go with him. Well, sure enough, I hit him up, Dan Schaefer. He's gonna take me out, hopefully get on some flounder or sheephead or striper or really as far as I'm concerned, whatever's biting. But according to everyone else, I'm in good hands. So I'm gonna finish getting my stuff loaded up and then hit the road. All right, guys, just got here to Stone Harbor, New Jersey, meeting up with the man, Dan Schaefer of Insomniac Guide Service. We're gonna go for striped bass and sheep's head, so join us. Where are these striper typically hang hanging out? We're gonna go in the marsh uh, flats today. We'll probably be pulling using the trolling motor. Uh, sheep said we're gonna hit up uh, artificial structure. So it's really funny, like flats, marsh fishing. I relate to redfish down on the Gulf Coast. Up here, we're doing something real similar for striper or rockfish. But yeah, we're about to go get some gas, get to it. You're a legend, bro. Everyone I talked to about fishing up here is like Dan Schaefer, Insomniac. If he'll take you, he's the man. Like everyone. Similar to you, man, you know? I mean, you've been doing. Yeah, I've been doing it a little while, but. And the kayak guys, what they tend to do, they figure everything out. Yeah. Because they lack mobility. So yep. if I'm doing something and no one knows how I'm doing it, it's usually the kayak guys who will kind of either put the puzzle pieces together or they'll, you know, figure it out. Right, yeah, right. So, you might want to you mind, you, you mind being on YouTube? No, I don't mind. <laughs> Get to fill my dirty boat. Good, man. It's a working boat. If the boat's too clean, I'd be suspects. We're going to do sheep's head first today. And the reason that we're doing this today, first thing is that in this hemisphere, you have higher tides in the afternoons than you do in the mornings. Hmm. And then in the winter, it switches around. So we just got to this bridge. This is the first place we're going to drop down, see if we can't get a few of these sheep head. Now, if you saw, my last video, my last episode, trying to catch sheephead, did not go according to plan. Everyone caught multiple sheephead, except for yours truly. First video I've ever done where I just could not get it done, got skunked, but we're out here for redemption, and Dan Schaefer's got me feeling pretty confident. I'm about to change that, change my sheephead luck today. So you hide the hook in there, huh? Just, just to the bar, that's it. What kind of crabs are these? That's an Asian shore crab. They're an invasive species that showed up to New Jersey in the 1970s. Wow. 
Invasive crabs for bait. I like it. So what we're doing, man, is that we're gonna drop down probably initially about seven feet, okay? And any kind of slack water we can find. A little bit of slack. So if there, there's one sitting there, it's gonna hit it. I mean, basically, yeah, like, we don't need to let it sit for too long. Yep, not long. Oh, wow. Yep, that was a tog, I believe. So we'll Didn't just, take long? No, it didn't take long, but that's a tog. Well, that's a good sign. Yeah. What you're gonna do is you're gonna do between the two legs, or four legs, like dead center, okay. with this body hovering over the jig head. So it's a nice compact feature, man. Um, and when it inhales, it basically inhales the entire thing. Yep. All right, good. Okay, so you do the same thing I did. And this is a lot of looking around, so it's like, sure. if, if we don't get one here in like three minutes, and we we just go to some other little lake that we can find. So about seven feet? Yep, keep that rod to roll out and load it at the same time. All right. That way, in case when you shut your bail, he picks it up, you're already locked and loaded in position to set a hook. To set the hook, yep, yep, absolutely. Sense. Go down again. So that's, that's, that's about a good wait time right there. It's only half an ounce, so we're... Oh, dude. Your bait's gone. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah, so <laughs> that was um, like subtle and quick, yeah. and that. Yeah. So we just gotta get back in. All right. So, lesson learned, man. No hesitation. No I gotta, hesitation. I gotta rip there's, these there's things. Someone looking up against this. Yep. You see all that food there? It's so like now I know. Like I don't have. Yep. Look at that. On, on, on. Oh yeah, that did not take long at all. What was that second drop? I don't know what. What is that thing? Up tog. A little tog? Yeah. Nice, dude. Your tog. New species. Yeah. <laughs> Second drop. Yeah. You, you'll see their teeth up front, and they're and they're for picking. Right. Yeah, and that's and this is a small guy. This guy right here is probably maybe one or two years old. Nice little camo pattern. Um. Yeah, I can see yeah. how they blend in perfectly. These spines right here are, are meant to lock in the wrecks. So they sleep at night. Gotcha. So the lock in the wreck. So sometimes their tail is actually cut off by a shark. Huh. Um, and I've caught them without tails because all this lock them in the wreck for the night, the, sh the sharks will cruise the wrecks and, and grab their we'll tail. Just grab them and try to pull them out. So that is my first Tautog. New species checked off the list. That was the second drop right here on this piling. Doing exactly what he said. The bite's super quick. You gotta you gotta rip it right away. Not a big one, but dude, that, that's a killer, man. That's nice. Alright. See that? Do I let it? I don't Nah, small talk. Small talk. Yeah. Got it. Yep. Come here. Never have an exposed hook point. So always just put it right back where it was. If it doesn't fit there, put it on the other side. Yeah, big thing with this is no exposed hook points. You see a lot of people rigging things different ways. I would think the opposite. Dude, I learned this. I learned this wreck fishing, man. We're all dropping down, man, and it's like I'm not getting hit, so I'm like, okay, must have an exposed hook point. Reel back up. Yep, so remember that remember those real weird hits? So yeah. oh. what we're gonna do now is you're gonna drop right past that. Okay. So now you're not gonna pay him any money. You think that was a small tog? Oh yeah. Should I try dropping it down go for it. deeper? Yeah, go ahead. Go, go, go 15 feet down. I'll tell you when to stop. Right there. There we go. Oh. Oh, you're on the iron. Oh. It's not real big, but. Yeah. Yep, that's toggy. Another oh. one. Yep. About the same size. Another tog, second one, about the same size as the first. I mean, it's just non-stop action. Like, you drop the crab down there, you're gonna get bit. Just whether or not you're fast enough to pull these guys up. Really cool fish. If you saw my California sheephead episode, uh, these things have to be related. They look very similar. The only difference being the color. California sheephead are bright red and black. These also change from female to male? They do, yeah. Or from, yeah. Yep. Yeah, so these things change sexes much like uh, California sheephead. Despite being totally different ocean, thousands of miles away, very similar. Oh God. Let this guy go. Yep, so break those claws backwards. Okay, so what you're gonna do now, you're gonna pick up. So now the current seam changed. You're getting sucked back. So now you're gonna drop right where those minnows are at, right in here. So when the seam changes, you know, yep. it's not like they're not there. It's just getting pushed up. Oh, oh there he was. <laughs> How do they get it off there they without do. getting hooked, man? They're it's a one hook, too, dude. There's not much of that hook. Exactly. It's small. It's like know? I would think they would just suck it right in. Inhale right. it on accident, yeah. if nothing else. Slack. Oh. 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 Good eye. Good eye on that one. Man, it's tough. <laughs> yeah, good eye on it, though. Escape artist. An escape artist, man. This guy's much livelier than the last two. You come to the boat in the mornings, there's like 20 on the deck sunning themselves. <laughs> Just permanent residence. Yeah. 
Yep. So what, what we're gonna do now, <laughs> what we're gonna do now, wait, the, second you, the second you feel that now, yeah. we'll drop it down. Either we're gonna move those smaller fish and get down to ones that may be there, down. We wanna fish as light as we possibly can, so you know we could we could toss down you know, an ounce jig head, but you wanna go as light as you possibly can. No, hey. Do you got, you see, he gave you like Darth, sucked it out of the shell. No, he gave you a Darth Vader, man. You got capped. You got a Darth Vader helmet. <laughs> I like struggle with like, do I set it the second I relax, feel it? Put your weight in your hips. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just relax. You don't want to lean forward. I'm definitely not relaxing. No, it's more okay, so over here, let's try something. Oh, shit. God, that was it. dude, it's so fast, bro. That was it. <laughs> that was it. Yeah, so a lot of times you're dropping past them and they're following you down, and that's when you get that immediate hit. Right. Dude. Yeah, you, you, you knew you did, and you knew it before you did it. All right, we'll try to get back on that current scene again. Yeah, he totally got your crab. Yeah, yeah. yeah he got you. <laughs> These fish, man. I got uh, overconfident after the, the initial success. Got a few fish real quick. Dude, now they're besting me. Give it to the left. There you go. Now it's better. Okay. Good drop. Oh, whack. Okay. Oh, see, so he actually ran Loose with it. your drag. Loose your drag attack. Oh, better fish. Better fish. Don't fight him. Don't fight him. Oh, dude. Don't fight him. Whatever you do, don't fight him. Oh, dude. Fish off. Oh. What do you think that is? Oh, I know what it is. I know exactly what it is. <laughs> I'm waiting for him to come to the channel. Definitely a better fish. Okay, now. Okay. He's out. Dude. Awesome. Dude. Yeah, just play him. Nice and easy. Don't come. Definitely a better fish. Straight bass typically you'll go into the channel. Tog typically won't pull that much drag. Ooh. Yeah, so you're, you're, you're in for a little bit, man. <laughs> I'm not sure how big he is. He looks pretty big. <laughs> Feels pretty but good. But yeah, yeah. This, is, this is one fish where you're going to play him for a little bit. He's coming up now. Yeah, he's certain. coming up. You always gotta watch out. Oh, dude. Yeah, you always gotta watch out. Oh, dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro. Can I swing with the current? <laughs> yeah. Bro. So walk with the boat. It's a monster. I know, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all growing big down here, man. Or up here. Yeah, no watch way. out for the fishbowl. There you go. Dude, killer yep. fish. Killer yeah, Keep that head underwater. Oh, he saw head. the net. Yep. He said, no, sir. Dude, they're strong, man. They're very strong. What a pretty fish. What a gorgeous fish. Ooh. Oops. Ooh. It's all right. We're good. We're good. I can't believe I missed that guy. <laughs> I couldn't even tell at first if you had it or not. Yeah. All right. Oh, okay. Bro. Such a strong fish, man. I've always said they fight like snapper almost. Like they're built like snapper. Dude! <laughs> that is nice. a beast, bro! A monster. By far my personal best sheep head right here, you guys. Yep. Oh my gosh. Bottom sweeper jig. Dude, bottom yeah, sweeper was... jig's getting it done right now. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. So this is uh, definitely a double digit fish, man. Oh, beauty. Yeah, the, look dude. at the dental work on this thing. And I'll, yeah. I'll show you those crushers in the front, too. So yeah, you loosen that drag on those ponds like that, man, and they'll turn for you. Gotcha. Because if you stood, if you, if you stayed there and you and you battle him on those pilings, you're gonna lose. Yeah, right. He's, it's, eventually it's, he's gonna get in. It's somewhere. a weird hat trick to yeah. do this. Give him a little bit of line and they'll kind of work their way out. You know, and eventually do they follow the path of least resistance, which is opposite to what you're doing. Right. And um, they're gonna get on their sides and then plane with the with the current. Yeah. And then you got them out. Perfectly played, dude. dude. That was sick. Yeah. Bro. Awesome. So the business end of these sheephead, this is for grabbing uh, barnacles and shrimp and crabs off of these pilings. I mean, human-like teeth, really, really bizarre, and uh, you would not want to get your fingers stuck in that. Yeah. All right, well, that is far and away my new personal best sheephead. Just incredible, such a strong fight. Dan here coached me through the whole thing. I know I would have lost that fish without his, his guidance. What a blast, dude. I can't believe we got one that big already. That's, that's incredible. And he's still, he's still full of it. Oh yeah. And he is still just raring to go. They are such strong fish. And there he went. <laughs> nice, bro. Awesome, man.
That was sick though, dude. Yeah. I mean, I knew the bite was different than the talk. Like I could tell it was something different and I gave it a, like a half second and he was kind of oh, like yeah. nibbling on it. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one I barely saw, which I know is a good, Yeah. because because if, if, if you're saying the hook before I saw it, yeah. then I know that you were, you know, you were, you were definitely on it. Right, yeah. right. So everyone I talked to about fishing here in Jersey told me Dan Schaefer, Insomniac Guide Service was the guy to go with. He's living up to his reputation right now. That's sick. I can't believe the start to this day, dude. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. I think we're good. Yeah, man. I'd call the sheephead thing a success. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so we got a couple tog. Got my first sheephead. Beast of a sheephead. Monster. Tides have changed, started to slow down, so we're gonna switch gears and go after some striped bass. Now, he said that the, the wind's not right, the tide's not right, really nothing's right, but we're gonna go give it a shot, see if we can't get on some of these fish. Let's do it, bro. All right. So I'll tell you what, I really had no idea what to expect here in Jersey, but pulling on the flats, definitely not in my wildest dreams that I think that's how I'd be fishing up here, but that's exactly what we're doing today. And we're gonna be throwing Rapala Skitterwalk. He says gold is the money. Let's see if we can get on him. But usually that that sudden gush of water. Oh. Then there he is. Look at that. Third time he hit it, dude. Third time he hit it. I, I was like, oh, I'm out of room. Fantastic. I'm out of room. I'm gonna screw this up again. Yep. 